Hi everyone! So, um, yeah, after taking a virtual field trip uh, uh, to the uh, aquarium, I thought about, oh, what else can we do as a project? You know, always have ideas of what you can do. And I haven't done this for many years, but I just went around uh, my apartment to look for different uh, supplies, okay? So one of the things that uh, if you can find, um, find it, if not, we'll make it a different way, is uh, any uh, envelopes that you might have gotten in the mail, you know, so any kind of envelope. So here I have a rectangle envelope, all right? And here I have a more uh, squarish, wider envelope, all right? So you can use any kinds of envelopes and I'll show you different things that you can make with the envelopes, all right? And just other supplies that uh, I'm going to use, uh, um, you know, I have a scissor, some glue. Again, if you don't have glue, sometimes you can use tape, all right? Or uh, markers, okay? You can just use markers. Um, I have uh, some crayons and um, let's see. My son, I borrowed this from him, and he said it was okay. So here he has a whole art supplies of crayons, markers, and you know, so uh, he said I could use that if I need. I might not need it today. And then, you know, looking for things around the house. Also, you know, if you have post-its, sometimes you can use that. Um, I have a ruler, but even if you don't have a ruler, you can sometimes just get some cardboard box, all right? And then this will give you a straight edge, you know, to, uh, to draw a straight line. Sometimes you can use this, and I'll use that later on too to show you, right? And sometimes you can look for boxes around the house. Um, so here I have a fig box, all right? And here, you know, with a box, that, oh, I can use this. It's uh, cardboard and it's not too thick. I can cut with this and make things. So I can just, you know, rip out the sides, okay? Okay, Ooh. okay. And then you, you can actually use parts of the box to cut out. Sometimes you have uh, colors or interesting shapes and you know, we'll, we'll make do with that and I'll show you that. I also have another box here um, and scrap paper, any paper that you might have at home, you can use that, okay? And here, I was thinking, wow, this already looks like a bus. We're not making a bus today, but uh, it also has some cool patterns as you can see. The lines, we can use that for water, thinking about the aquarium. And so maybe I can put something and use this uh, as, as a stand for now or, or cut some pieces from it, okay? So lots of different things you can find around the house uh, to use uh, to, to make a craft project, okay? So one of the first things um, is, I'll, I'll show you is an envelope, okay? So if you have an envelope, uh, first step is to just fold it in half, okay? And sometimes it's hard to see the line. So what I would do is just take a straight edge, either a ruler or a piece of cardboard. I'll even use a cardboard to show you, right? And then I'm going to put this on the piece of paper right on the line. So let me just show you so you can see. So right on the line, and then I'm going to just get a marker or a pen. Okay, I have a marker here, so just make a marker. I'll use a marker so it's easier for you to see. Okay, and then when you do that, you have a line that you can cut across. So here you have an envelope, right? So I'm gonna show you, okay? So what I am going to do is just cut across the line. Okay, so here. Okay, so all I did was cut a, uh, cut across the line, you see that? And now, believe it or not, now I have a kind of a puppet. So how do you make a puppet out of this, Ms. Fowler? So here, if you fold it in half, and I, if I put my fingers in it, you can see that is the beginnings of the mouth of, of uh, some kind of uh, creature, right? Or some kind of fish. And you said, but Miss Fun, this is all opened up. So how do I fix that? I can take my envelope here, okay? I should have cut that part too. So I'm gonna cut this part on top, okay? Right in the middle, have that line. I can draw the line also. And then I can just tape this down, okay? So if I tape it down, Okay, or glue, all right, whatever it is, I'm just gonna do it fast with tape. I'm gonna tape it down just to show you. The Fong's tape is all messed up here, but it's okay. And here, okay. So if I tape this down, now when I put my hands in, it won't stick out on the side. So here we go. Okay, and now you can see your hands are smaller, it'll work much better than mine, but you can see that you can now make a puppet with putting the eyes on top. Okay, it's just easy, just drawing the eyes. 
Okay, I'm gonna put those of the eyes over here. Okay, just simple. If you can draw the eyes on top now, all right? And then you can say, oh, I can put a fin on it, okay? If I'm making a shark or something like that, and I can make triangle teeth. So I'm gonna show you that. So when you make a triangle tooth, okay, let me just get a piece of uh, post-it or a piece of paper, but I'll just use post-it, okay? So I'm just gonna draw a triangle as a tooth. I'm gonna make one tooth just to show you how you can make a tooth, all right? So if I make a tooth, I'm gonna draw a triangle, right? Okay, so I'm gonna show you the triangle. You wanna see the triangle? Okay, but I also need a tab on top, and I'll show you what the tab is for. So I'm going to draw a tab, I'll show you, it's like a, a triangle, a rectangle on top of the triangle, it almost looks like a pizza. Everyone see that? And then I'll show you why I put that rectangle on top. Okay, so I'm gonna cut it quickly. Okay, so if I cut this, okay. Mr. Fun is just doing this live video and no editing, so I'm uh, just going through uh, as quick as I can. So everyone see this? Okay, so you have a triangle, and a little tab on that. And what I do with the tab is I fold it down on the line, okay? So now, okay, now you have a tooth. Everyone see that? And I can now glue this or tape it right on the side. Okay, I'm, I'm not gonna use glue because it's a little messy, so I'll just use a piece of tape. So if you don't have glue or tape, you can use either one. So I just wanna show you that it's, okay? So now, if you make a whole bunch of these, now you have a tooth on the side. You gonna see that? I'm gonna, actually, that's in the back. I'm gonna put the tooth uh, more towards the front. Okay, so that's where tape is handy. So here, or you can even put it in the front, okay? But uh, I'm gonna put it on the side, just to show you. So see, the tab is there so that you can glue it if you need to, and here you go. You wanna see that? So this is now the tooth on your, on your animal, okay? I put that on, see, so you can see it can be the tooth. And so if you're making a snake, it could be in the front, right? With the fangs, but you can just kind of see the makings of that. And they say, oh, I, I want a, a fin on top, right? Like some kind of shark fin. So I'm going to make a bigger triangle. Okay, you just you use any piece of paper, okay? I'm going to draw a big triangle, a wide triangle. It's like a house, okay, and you see that? And then if I and if I, I make the bottom, it'll make it easier to stand up. So I want to see, see this? And it looks like a pie again. You can see Mr. Fawn's kind of hungry. So if I just cut this, I'm doing it quickly, all right? You would go a little slow, slower so it's not so messy, but let me just show you. And you can use all the scraps later on to, like, you know, all these extra pieces, you can use this for later on to make another uh, tooth or another fin, all right? But I just wanna show you. So here again, I have that line. I'm gonna fold along the line, okay? Just so now, when I glue it on or tape it down, I have something so that can stand up. Anyone see that? So it can stand up and I can make a fin that way. Anyone see that? So I'm just gonna put this on. Again, this this is not the best uh, triangle now. I'm gonna make it smaller because I don't want this right on top of his eye. That doesn't look right at all. So I'm gonna make the triangle smaller so I can actually have two of them, two fins, all right, here, okay? And I can just put that right on top, okay? You can do this way, right, or this way. I'm gonna put it sideways. You know what, and now I can make it a double fin on both sides, so I'm gonna show you. So here, so now it can stand up, I can tape it down. See, so now you see why I have that rectangle, right? So that I can stand down, okay? And then I can put this on the other side. It's like a double, um, double fin now, okay? Just, okay? And I can even use this for my next project. I'll just show you like that. So here, you can see your puppet, you can add so many things to it, right? Here's the eye one tooth right now and then you have also uh the fit okay everyone see that so that is the makings of an animal so far you can make it any kind of animal you want but because you were doing sea creatures i'm going to show you uh, another uh puppet okay so this is with the rectangle skinny rectangle uh, envelope okay so, and now i'm going to show you 
the other kind, if you have a, a, a wider envelope, okay, this is more squarish, but it's still a rectangle, this is really cool. This is a little hard, you might need your parents to help you just to, to make the puppet in the beginning, but once you have, it's very easy. So all you do is open the flap, okay, and then, everyone see this? I'm gonna open the envelope this way, okay, all right? I'm gonna try to find the middle and just push it in, okay? Again, this is, you might need an adult to help you with this a little bit, but you can see what happens if I'm, so I'm gonna do it again. Find that middle and push it in. Okay, I'm gonna then show you how cool this is. Okay, and now here you go, look at this. This looks all, almost like a fish already, the beginnings of a fish. Not perfect, but you can see, right? So now, again, if I wanna cut the eye or draw the eye right on, I can do that, all right? So now I'm gonna push this down a little bit. Okay, just to flatten it out. I ripped it a little, see, it's okay. If you rip it a little, because you can always tape it up. Okay, now on the side, I can draw the eye. Okay, I'm gonna draw the fish eye. Use my Sharpie, okay? So here, just draw the circle. Okay, and now I'm gonna say, oh, on the other side, it's gonna be a little tricky, okay? Because I already put it in the wrong place, but it's okay. And, but I'm gonna just make it one side for now, okay? So make sure you, see, the reason why I kind of messed up is like, if I draw it on this side, the eye is not in the same place. I'm just gonna do one eye fish for now, just to show you the side, right? And here, you can already have the, you can also already cut it and make the back tail already, right, for your fish. Again, I'm sure you guys can do a lot better than Mr. Fong, but I'm just trying to give you the idea, okay? And you can make a fin on the side, so I'm gonna just borrow the one that I made before, okay? So the rectangle, uh, the triangle that I made from this, I'm just gonna borrow this, just to show you. So now if I have that, okay, I can also add that to my fish, and have a fin on the side, okay? And you can see the beginnings of a fish. All right, and you, I'm, again, you guys can probably make it a lot better than me. And you know, now I have my water. My fish can swim on on the water here, and you can cut things out from a box, right, to add it on. But you can put so many things inside. You can make the mouth, okay. But you can see the beginnings of a puppet. All right, Mr. Fong. Again, it's not the best artist, but. I can't wait to see what you guys can make uh, from all the things that you have at home, all right? And here, the pink envelope can, now is already colored. If you have a colored envelope, again, you just uh, open it up from the inside with your hand, and then you kind of find the middle and just push it in slowly so that makes the mouth, okay? So again, might need a little help with that, but once you got it, okay? This is not perfect, as you can see, but you can see it'll make the makings of another fish or an another puppet. Everyone see that? Okay. Your hands will fit much better than Mr. Fawn's because my hands are a little bigger, but for uh, children, it, this is like perfect for you. My fish is a, it looks a little, yeah, you gotta fix it a little bit. But you get the idea, all right? Most important thing, guys, is be fun and be creative. And there's no telling, you know, what you can make from these. You can cut it out. You, the eyes you can actually cut in it, into it, or whatever you like. But just different things that you can do. All right, guys. All right. Enjoy.